The mag magnitude of a Lions tour cannot be overlooked. Personally, I see it as second only to hosting a Rugby World Cup. There will be likely, based on past experience, particularly 01 and, and what we saw uh, in uh, New Zealand in 05 and 09 in South Africa, about 40,000 Lions fa fans, the red shirts will be on the march, travelling around our great country watching their team in action. And they will open their Australian tour in Perth on the 5th of June and play in six cities before the Test Series finale in Sydney at ANZ Stadium on the 6th of July. I was dropping my two boys, um, two of my four children at school this morning just down the road at North Sydney. And I mentioned to the guys that I was coming up the road uh, to do this quick press conference and uh, talk about the, the ticketing for the Lions series, which of course is coming on next year. And my young fellow, my 12 year old, the youngest of my four, Josh, who loves rugby, he plays for his school, he plays for, for Lindfield, he plays for Gordon. Um, he started to talk to me about the Lions series and um, you know, it really sort of overwhelmed me almost when I thought about the last tour that John spoke about and some of the historic things that happened globally back in 2001 and how long ago it was because my 12 year old was one at the time. When I think about the opportunity to take Josh, who absolutely loves his rugby and, and Ben, next year, um, I'll only get one chance really to take them as a father when they're probably under my, under my roof and uh, you know, I think when the tickets go on sale people should put that in perspective. You know, if you love taking your kids to a sporting event, when, if you love something that is truly significant globally and, uh, and the importance of, of a big match in a great stadium um, with a wonderful atmosphere, um, then think seriously about uh, queuing up, getting in the line, spending whatever money you've got to get these tickets. It's a special experience. I think it was John Smith who played three World Cups said the opportunity to play in the Lions series surpassed all of that. The simple maths explains it really, once every 12 years. And it is such a unique event. They are special tourists. Mm -hmm. They make the occasion such that there is no other occasion quite like it, where you get clear delineation in terms of the support groups and passion. Um, so you know, I was lucky enough to actually play against the Lions as a player and for my province, and we ultimately won. Uh, but I think, as Ian McGeekin said, the series itself is about, is about the test matches, ultimately. That's what they'll be here to win. But the great thing is that we, we get a whole group of provincial players who have the opportunity to experience the international arena. And there will be players that will, will respond to that. Mate, very exciting. You know, uh, you look back all those years and see how you know, a big deal it was then and you, you think you know, it could only be the same this time and you know, hopefully bigger and better. You know, listening to you know, Nick Farjones speak about his experiences and um, you know, my own personal experiences when I was a you know, young kid, sort of when they came over and uh, just that sea of red, which I'll never forget. Hopefully we can um, pack the stands with some green and gold. Obviously the memories of 2001 are still fresh in a lot of people's minds, being sort of ambushed at the Gabba. I guess something you'd, you'd want to experience on the field this time. Oh, yeah, look, if that comes about, it'll be, it'll be an amazing experience and it's, uh, it's a once-in-a-career chance to, to be able to play against the Lions and um, if that comes about, you know, it's, uh, it's something which you know, every player will um, you know, cherish.